thank you for coming uh, these are the students who hopefully will be the flag bearer of actor prepares for the next so many generations and uh, apart from the teaching great teaching that that's done by the amazing teachers that we have we also have these sessions where uh, we talk to people who have done extraordinary work we are choosy about it <laughs> and uh, i personally feel that trial by fire is one of the finest uh, shows that i have seen and uh, and that's why you are here prashant how did the idea come to your mind of wanting to make this series and where, when did it gen generate um so thank you sir for having us and thank you all for for coming and uh, for being here and having us here um uh, sorry i've lost my voice a little bit so just tell me if you can't hear me um uh, so i got the book actually uh, one of the producers gave gave me the book about uh, in 2019 and uh, i thought it was a very powerful story very emotional um i didn't know if it was possible to make it into a show because it doesn't really have a conclusion they're still fighting the con the victory is that they are still fighting they've refused to accept defeat it spanned 25 years there were no mysteries no twists no turns no uh the main opponent was basically the system and uh inaction and stagnancy so how do you make a series about something like that which itself presents itself as very no drama you know in the traditional sense of it but uh i think that became an interesting challenge and uh i think in some ways that's true to what a, a hero really is in terms of fighting regardless of the outcome and finding that courage within you and and i thought the krishnamurtis were were examples of that and that if we could find in ourselves a fraction of that courage to stand up and fight for what we believe in then maybe that <coughs> things would be quite different um and then also you know there was something you know it wasn't this huge event that took place in the distant past it, it's some it's a cinema it's a place we all go to it's a um so i think those two things when we feel that it was relevant and an important and and potentially even inspiring so that's sort of how i came shant also made an amazing film which was a very loved uh, in sandance film festival called america with r e e k a uh, uh, m u m r i k a yeah, yes america <laughs> which was a fabulous film um how did you decide to uh, this for this amazing two people who have taken the series forward how did you decide that so i you know i've known both of their their work um you know for a long time uh abhay um you know obviously you know i've i've known yeah. his 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 very you know uh, much loved work you know um and and rajshreed you know has done a couple of fantastic films there's a film called as durga which uh sexy durga which she her performance was absolutely stunning so i've known of, i want you know obviously wanted to work with them i abey and i just started discussing he read the script you know we weren't sure if he would like it and then through the discussions you know he was responding to it and then he sort of took that leap of faith on on the project which uh and we were of course thrilled because uh he's an actor who i've admired for a long time and wanted to see you know uh back on screen in a, in a big way um and uh, and rachi so you know rachi and i have known each other very briefly we met once and um always wanted to work with her um but you know the role was so kind of uh difficult that uh, you know i i asked her if she would kindly kind of just come in and explore with me a little bit and and we you were basically testing her. uh i was yeah i i don't like to use that word because i think the process is okay, uh, exploring is a better exploring word. is a better word <laughs> um so you know she that's came the in. word joshua used for me <laughs> when he was <laughs> testing me for the thing yeah i'm glad that that's a good word uh, exploring so exploring uh, the talent is a great word yeah aapko koi ab screen test ke liye bolta hai to usme ek feeling of failure and uh, success yeah. ki feeling aati hai and that's that's a i mean not <laughs> that's to, something what great thing to learn yeah. yeah i mean not to digress or anything but you know that is a problem in the way that you know actors are are given chances but anyway so rachi came in and we did that one scene where um she uh you know she finds out that her friend's son uh is alive um and she did it and the first time she did it we were all kind of she brought so much emotion to it that we all kind of just we were all moved and very moved all of us the casting director my associate director and then we just kind of said okay great you know and 
we knew immediately that um, that it was her. So I think she said that we texted her basically on 13th January 2020, exactly two years. 20. Uh, yeah, 20. 21. Uh, 20, 21. So exactly to the day, two years be uh, before the release. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Now, you have done a lot of You've been selective about choosing the kind of films that you've done. I will tell you my reaction when I started this series because <coughs> I also happened to be it. But I did it based on a conversation with you, maybe mm -hmm. you do not know. To me, uh, kindness of a director is very important. I think directors need to be very kind. My best job is when the director is kind. If I criticize a director, it's important to criticize. But somehow I feel that when a person is uh, inspiring you, and encouraging you, I give my best. Yeah. Yeah. When a person says, Yara, but corona is a yare, kya hai? I don't, and throwing, I will not be able to give my best. You were very kind to me on the phone, <laughs> and, you're, and you are a kind person, so there was no way that I was not going to do that. Uh, how did you decide? Uh, so I was telling you, sorry, I was telling you how it happened to me when I started watching the series, and when I started tarif sunni shuru kar di thi. Uh, I have a lot of series. I have a next day. I don't have it. There was a lurking, I will not call it only sadness, but there was a lurking sadness mm -hmm. when I was watching it. And yet it was not depressing me. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to watch the next episode and then the next episode. And these two performances uh, kept me glued to it. And uh, how did you approach? Apart from the instructions by the director, or what is the better word for instructions? Explore. Exp uh, yeah. no, no, Conversations. 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 <laughs> 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 uh, apart from the script was good and everything, but because uh, I worked with him. How did you, on your own, work on the role? What was your process? Um, so obviously, the, Prashant had briefed us uh, about the dynamics of the relationship. I um, had discussions of my character with him as well, how he's seeing it, took a few points. So you collect all that data, that information, and you sit with it. This, every project is unique. This particular one is a true story, and it's extremely tragic. So I found myself troubled because you're going to recreate something so tragic. And I find, and I think I'm not alone, I think most people are like this, it's very easy for me to have empathy for another, but really not have so much empathy for myself. I'm fine where I am. Mm. What is your problem? What is, look at him, look at her, look at their situation, blah, 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 blah. So I was very easily able to go into that. And um, the more I explored their tragedy, the more thankful I was for who I am, where I am, what I have. And that just kind of slipped me into position. Um, at some point, you just have to, um, I keep saying this over and over again now, it's like, and I use it for many different situations, like just get over yourself. Mm. Uh, in this case, it was being so grateful for where I am and who I have in my life and what I have in my life. So it's philosophical, it's emotional, it's humanitarian. That came about because this was such a tragic routine. Yeah. You know, and I came with that to the set. Wonderful. I'll come back to you about, about <laughs> the question. But Rajni, what was your process? Uh, because uh, I'll tell you why I'm asking this question because somehow it reminded me of my first film. I was 28 years old and I played a 65 year old man who was dealing with the loss of his only child, uh, Saranj. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was not even married, no, no ch child, but I had to go through what I had to go through. Mm -hmm. uh, so what did you, what was the process that, aapne kya process chuna? intelligent answers dene basic answers dene. I mean, I'm not expecting not <laughs> intelligent answers. <laughs> no, no, no. Why will Eddie not give a very intelligent answer or a very articulate answer? Because I'm messed up anyway. Um, I, I feel, you know, uh, whenever I approach any character, first of all, I'm very, uh, you know, honored 
to portray Neelam on screen. Mm -hmm. Her journey is, though it's a tragic uh, event and everything, but it's very, very, very inspiring for me. First time when I got the uh, script and I was going through all the details because I'm a very, <clears throat> I like to study. I like to go through a process, just like, you know, what we learn and, uh, as an actor, you know, go through the imagination, go through the, uh, you know, uh, inner monologue with everything. So I 